What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on HCMC stock. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Weevil valued up to $1850, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account, deposit $100 and choose your free stocks. That's it. And let's continue with the company overview. We are on their website and uh, it says uh, Healthy Choices Management Corporation is a US-based publicly traded company specializing in providing consumers with healthy alternatives to everyday lifestyle choices. HCMC owns an intellectual property suite comprised uh, of patents issued in both the United States and Canada. These patents have a primary focus on safer wrapping technology as well as uh, synthetic or imitation uh, nicotine compositions, processes uh, and uh, methods of manufacture. HCMC continues to innovate and hopes to expand this suite in the future. And uh, let's continue with their financials. And according to latest official data, uh, they have a total market cap of $738.71 million. They have a revenue of $13.92 million with a negative net income of $3.72 million. They have a total cash of $948,206 with a total debt of $8.51 million. Their current ratio is not so good, it is 0.53. And uh, the good current ratio begins from the level of 1.5. But for now, as you might know, uh, this information about their total cash is a little bit outdated because uh, for the past several months they added to, to their cash position a relatively big amount of money. Right here on February the 8th uh, they announced sale of uh, 5 million dollars of preferred stock and uh, their latest announcement uh, was on April the 20th they file a registration statement for rights offering exclusively for its stockholders and they also rise in money. So, for now, I think uh, their financial position is rather stable. And uh, let me show you that uh, the main potential catalyst for the price of this company is right here. It was published on November the 30th. It is a patent infringement lawsuit against Philip Morris. And let me show you it in details. HCMC's lawsuit includes claims uh, that Philip Morris is infringing HCMC's patent rights in connection with IQOS, an alternative tobacco product marketed and sold by Philip Morris. Philip Morris claims that it is currently approaching 14 million uh, users with its IQOS product and has reportedly invested over $3 billion in their small class tobacco products. And right here we have the latest information about this lawsuit. On Monday, April 19th, 2021, we have the latest filing and uh, it was the submission of motion to dismiss for failure to state a claim and it's made by Judge Timothy C. Barton. And for now, we all waiting for this answer. We were all waiting for the decision of uh, Mr. Timothy C. Barton. Because it depends on this news, depends on his decision, we will see huge movement in price. If he will decide to dismiss uh, this lawsuit, then the price of HCMC will go down drastically. And uh, on the other hand, if uh, he will decide uh, to continue this lawsuit and if uh, he decides to push it uh, to the trial, then we have a very, very good chances for HCMC to win this lawsuit. And in my previous video, you can watch the entire playlist in, my, in the description below. I covered uh, all the information about this lawsuit and I covered each and every statement right here at this uh, pace monitor. So let's continue with their real fundamentals. Uh, on their official Twitter, we have that on March the 12th, they announced the exclusive 72-hour QCAP offer. And I know that many of HCMC Army, they took a part in this uh, offer and they bought number of these products. And that's why this event might uh, have a very good reflection on their earnings report. And we don't have for now official information about uh, the data of this report, but I think it will be this Wednesday literally in several hours after this video will be published. On top of that, they opened uh, the vitamin store, but uh, they opened it uh, at the end of March, and I don't think that this information might uh, have a huge impact on Q1 earnings report. That's why we have to patiently wait until uh, Mr. Uh, Timothy C. Barton will publish his decision. 
and this will be the main catalyst. In my opinion, uh, it will be a positive catalyst for the price. And uh, let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. It, this helps me a lot. So I made my previous video right here at this point. And I've told you that uh, you have to patiently wait all the price movement around May the 3rd and uh, it's so-called uh, HCMC day. In my opinion, it was just an attempt to make some uh, speculative profits with this stock. But uh, for those of you who like my video, who like my channel and who follow me for, for a long time, you already know that uh, I'm here to provide the best information that I can gather for you. And uh, my main goal is to teach you how to define good news from bad news and how to make a technical analysis and how to rely on technical analysis. That's why we have this huge uh, fluctuation in price during the uh, past couple of days. And uh, as you can see, for now we are hovering below the level that it was uh, on my previous video. And on top of that, you have more attractive price potentially to enter your position. And basically our main accumulation points uh, was at this point, at this level and at this level. And from these points, we, if we will take an average price, uh, we are up for about 70%. And uh, nothing changed fundamentally. We have to passionately wait the results uh, of uh, judge's decision. And uh, for those of you who decide to enter your position for now, before earnings report, and by the way, as you can see, we don't have this E mark right here uh, that indicates that it will be an earnings report. That's why I think it is still uh, some kind of rumors that it will be released on this Wednesday. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, we have, uh, for example, this mention on the investor place and uh, earnings will come out on Wednesday. And uh, this statement uh, was made, let me show you, on May the 3rd, it is three days ago. This means earnings report might be today. So let me show you a new pattern that I found right here. Here we might have a good, good uh, support from this price action. As you can see, we have touch right here, we have uh, touch uh, right here, touched right here, and uh, even this week touched this level and uh, bounce back immediately so i think it is a decent level of support potentially and uh, you might enter your position according to this information by the way as you can see we have a bunch of uh, price action during extended hours and uh, if you want to benefit from this uh, type of trading please uh, follow my link in the description below and use webull brokerage it allows you to trade on extended hours absolutely for free from 4 a.m till 8 p.m and uh, basically in this case you will be able to have uh, some more opportunities to make some profits so what to expect next in my opinion uh, we might have some fluctuation in price uh, and uh, we might uh, have uh, several touches of this support and then when we will see earnings report if it will be on uh, wednesday uh, then we might have some massive uh, price actions and uh, it might be either way First of all, if we go up, then from this point it is uh, better to have a small position. But if you decide to invest in this uh, asset, it is very risky and it is very volatile, then just follow my three simple rules. First of all, do not put the money that you are not willing to lose. Second one, do not go all in. And third one, do not put stop loss close to your entry price. And uh, if you add your position right here and we will go to the upside, then you will have this position. But if we will break this support, and basically I don't need this line anymore, and if you break this support and we will go lower, then our next accumulation points are right here. They are still in play and uh, they reflect uh, all the price action. Right here we have price action at these levels and right here we again hovered around these levels. And our lowest accumulation point is this one. So. That's why I encourage you to add just a fraction of your position right here. And if you will go lower, then you will have more attractive average price. So, with that being said, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. It helps me a lot. See you guys and girls next time. Bye.